Hello Fredlings, this is Claude from Chicago and this is the first ever Planet Zoo series I've ever done ever here on this channel and this is the first time I'm recording it. I am so hyped. We have played Planet Coaster for a very long time and this is our first series on Planet Zoo and I'm so hyped because I love animals. And if you love animals, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because we are so close to a thousand subscribers and at a thousand subscribers we're doing something very, very special. But linked in the description is all of our Planet Coaster series. If you are new to this channel, you can see my credentials. That's my resume. So you can see how good I build or don't build. Um, but we are building in Planet Zoo, and I wanted to work on the entrance today. And some people that I watch, for people that love Planet Zoo, I watched Rudy Rankamel. I've watched Geekism. But my favorite person to watch on Planet Zoo is the Lady Designer, and she just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, so big congratulations to her. Um, She's the only person that really sort of continued this series of Planet Zoo, and I've learned a lot from her and about the detail. But this is going to be kind of like our city zoo, but I don't want to use that name because obviously that is her thing. So you guys need to come up with a name for the zoo, and we will be using it. Also, at the end of each time lapse, I will be trying to, as long as we finish an exhibit, we will be uh, putting a poll uh, sort of in the description uh, or in the comment section down below. So you you got to comment. you got to comment on these videos if you want to get your animal put in there. Um, but this is our entrance. So I've kind of looked at a bunch of entrances for zoos. Uh, we're not, do you know, like I said, we're kind of doing a city zoo, but we're also not. This is not the um, Epcot or this is not the Animal Kingdom Zoo we were hyping up. This is going to be more of a normal, I guess you could say a normal budget sort of zoo. So it's going to be more realistic. Um, obviously, I don't want to do the planet or I don't want to do the Animal Kingdom Zoo until I have a bunch of experience in my belt in this game. Because even though this is like Planet Coaster, it still is a little difficult to play. But right now we're using limestone to build this entrance here. And I want just sort of a nice general overhang. So nothing too crazy. Um, and then we're using uh, just these... I think this is called... Um, I can't see that because I only have... I have a low quality on my rendering here, but we're using some basic sort of roof. I'm doing some stone pillars on the side, I'm doing that, uh, just getting those details in there. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, we post or stream every single day here on this channel. And if we don't, uh, we usually have something posted on our social medias too. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of content on this channel. We play Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, baseball games. We, we play pretty much everything on this channel. Um, but yeah, so I want to use some sort of stone-ish vibe here um, in this park because obviously it's sort of a city zoo. These city zoos are very old. Uh, in the city of Chicago, we have, well, the city of Chicago really only has Lincoln Zoo, which I've been there only once in my life. Um, but there is another one a little bit south, which is called Brookfield Zoo. Um, and that's one I've been to a bunch of times. Because, obviously, um, it's actually a, a little bit more well-kept than the Lincoln Zoo from what I've read. Um, but they have a lot of lions, and they have this big entrance, a big green gate. But I don't want to build a gate here because I want this park to be open for everyone. Um, obviously, at nighttime, it would be closed down to regular people. And here is a list of animals. Obviously, it's being shown very quickly. Um, but there is a ton of animals in the base game. I have no DLCs for this game yet because I don't know how this series is going to go. And this series is probably going to be, um, how would you say? This series probably will be entirely like time lapses like Geekism, if you've ever seen Geekism. Um, we might do some live streams on this, but for the majority of this, it probably will be like that. Um, one issue I do want to point out here is obviously it's different with the building mechanics from Planet Coaster. Um, so I can't see the lights until I place them or buy them. Uh, it's, it's very weird. Um, there's some issues. You also have to have transmitters to use power, sort of like city skylines. Um, it's a little bit weird for a sandbox mode, but uh, there's probably a setting to turn it off. Now, this is the sort of the green gate we were talking about. I just wanted to be open to everyone, so we won't be putting in a physical gate. And these are some, like, embroiderings, I don't know how you say them, in the wall, these stone uh, statues or sculptures, I don't know what you say. Uh, we don't decide to use them because we do put a nice zoo sign up here where we're looking at the letters. So in the comment section down below, let us know what name of the zoo you guys want to use. That'll be the first poll. Every Planet Coaster, or sorry, every Planet Zoo video we do, 
we will be uh, putting something in the comment section down below and you guys can vote on it there. Uh, so be sure to comment quickly uh, so you can guys can uh, get some sort of exhibit put in. So this week we're going to be working on the just the name and then next week we'll be putting some exhibits up i want to pick the first animal um if you want to comment down below and guess what kind of animal it's going to be is uh, go ahead uh but the week the next week after that we will be uh, letting you guys uh, choose uh, we're doing some new world planters here uh obviously they're the most modern i love sort of that modern vibe with this old city sort of style and of course we find ourselves the cherry blossom uh, trees of course if there's a cherry blossom tree we have to incorporate that in here do some uh, pink bushes to get that in lined and uh, i love how this entrance is i think the 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 less the less um architecture the better and we're gonna go into a real person view so i'll see you in a second all right fredlings i hope you enjoyed our first time lapse here we're gonna be going in first persons which thankfully Teji cam still works, but this is the default entrance here. I don't have any current plans on changing this up, but it is very, very nice. I do agree, I would say. And here's the first view of the zoo. We'll take a look at this a little bit more in detail in a second, but I love how it looks. Uh, don't forget, guys, in the comment section down below, pick a name. We'll be putting it on the board soon. Um, also, probably said this in the time lapse as well. Uh, this is on the item shop. You can get all three of these things that I made a long time ago, not on stream or on time lapse. Well, I mean, I do have the original one on Planet Coaster on time lapse, but Planet Zoo, no. So, uh, but yeah, you guys can go download those for free on the Steam Workshop on their claw from Chicago. Uh, but this is the uh, area in Planet Zoo. This is something I don't like, and I think there's probably a way you can turn this off. But this is um, the buildings that you need. Now, obviously, you can see all the insulation and stuff just here, which I do like this feature, by the way. Don't get me wrong. But the issue is you have to have these to make your park run, and especially the water treatment and the transformer. Like I, like I said, I haven't played Planet Zoo that that much, but... From what I played, if you want to have the lights work, you need to have these things here. Um, but we'll be looking at each of these buildings. I'll give you guys a brief rundown. The research center, which, by the way, they are all very detailed in here. Super duper detailed. Like, everything is highly detailed. Um, but the research center is, um, from what I learned from the tutorial about seven months ago, was, um, you know, you research uh certain ways to you know make cures for your animals keep them safe and that sort of stuff um and i think there's a way you can research breeding and stuff like this an animal trade center obviously to trade for any animal you need to have this built in your world you can trade between existing parts or you can trade with the it, the, the robots which uh I, that's what i'm going to be doing um this is the keeper's huts there's a bunch of keeper huts i think there's a small and a large um, this is where they chop up the food, make sure that everything is correct for the animals. Um, nutrition, you know, that sort of stuff. This is where the keeper resides. They'll be walking around in the park. Um, this is a staff room. Obviously, this is where all the staff members come out to chill uh, during their break hours. Uh, it's not huge, but uh, it's pretty lit. They got a little guitar in here, three lockers, you know, uh, a seating area. And some stuff. I would, oh, uh, if I was playing a coaster, or sorry, wow, no, I can't even say it. Look at there, ch she's chilling in here. Um, I would put a, I would have put a, you know, for the act, well, for the console edition, and I don't know if they have it yet, but if, when they do, they're the console edition, and the, they should have like an Xbox or the Xbox One and a PS4 for the PS4 one. I think that would be just like that little bit of detail would make it so much better. Um, yeah, this is the lady I called Tachi Cam, so we can come in here. But this is very, I mean, it's super detailed. Way more detailed than Planet Coaster, which this game did come out way later. Um, here's another building. Uh, this is Quarantine. Obviously, if your animals get sick, they come in here. I don't know if, yeah, these don't actually have interiors. Um, and then this is the uh, Veterinarian surg Surgery. Um, so if you have to have a surgery for your animal they can come on in here and they'll be able to do it a oh i forgot i don't teach te or i don't speak um plankoian i don't know how you'd say that um and then obviously they can come in here and do surgery and i don't know i, I mean i haven't played planet coaster that that much but uh i am assuming 
the smaller animals you'll be able to see them do surgery on but like for example an elephant you probably won't see them do surgery on but i could be wrong and then the last building that is needed is the workshop facility i have no idea what this does i'm assuming this is where the mechanic lives or i guess the carpenter i don't know um but let's head on down here uh here are the people that we do have um this is a a custodian or or this is actually a caretaker these guys will go around and take care of the animals sorry i thought they were a custodian uh the mechanic dude he's walking around here this is a uh, a shopkeeper um this is the what is this guy's name this is the surgeon oh the vet here we are the vet and this lady down here which we named Teji cam is the keeper so there's a keeper and there is a a caretaker they both do different things you do need all of them for your zoo to function and then our main entrance here as you saw in the time lapse we would do later on we'll do some glamour shots um, but this is the zoo obviously you guys can choose in the comment section down below we'll name the zoo after something so come up with a great name and um this is of course you know claude from chicago because we put in these cherry blossoms if i knew there was cherry blossoms in this game i would have played this game about right when i bought this um, i want to put these on the side so you can get a nice view of the park and then put some nice very pink trees here or somebody can say that in the comment section down below i don't know how to say that some bushes very nice um, the lighting's a little bit weird because you actually have to place in the light to see how the light works, and we'll worry about lighting way later down the road. Um, but this is our entrance here. Uh, we got some little lion statues here, and you guys see me experiment with some other statues, but I think most zoos, especially the zoos in Chicago, usually have big lions sort of, you know, in near the entrance, because obviously the king of the jungle, you know, the king of the zoo in some sort of sense. Um, but yeah that's it and eventually we'll have over here probably another little we'll probably have this duplicated on the other side maybe different animals on the other side and um have a long sort of entrance or whatever i want to think of and then we'll start building little facilities for each of the animals so uh, fredlings i do hope you enjoyed this video here today hit that like button hit that subscribe button in the future there will be a link to the playlist down below for planet zoo content and there is a bunch of Planet Coaster content, so that probably will be also listed in the description down below. So I hope you Fredlings enjoy. Uh, this is Claude from Chicago, and see you next time from Planet Zoo.